Jeff is definitely one of our winners tonight. She'll be up here later. But I wanted to start with a song because a song is really what we're about. The rest of the stuff, even winning contests, it comes in second place to songwriting here and tonight. And as much as we can, always at song. So I'm going to get to this really fast. I just want to go over one thing because we do have a lot of awards to give. I'm going to give you your instructions. If, uh, if when the announcers are up here, they will announce the honorable mentions. If you let them announce all the honorable mentions, if you would please stand. If you're here and got an honorable mention, we will applaud for all of the honorable mentions. Then we'll do the same with the finalists and wait until the, the, the names are announced. Sometimes it's only two, sometimes it's seven names. Wait till all the names are announced and then applaud for each of those. The silver and the gold performers will come up and we can applaud for them as they, as they take the stage and as they leave the stage. We will be doing tonight in the order that uh, awards are given. So the performer you see a few minutes after the award will be the performer of the award you just heard about. We hope that makes it more easy to understand. Also, if you don't know, we're streaming this live. You can check it out later on YouTube. Just go to uh, Saw's webpage and you can link to the whole show and see how badly we did what we were going to do. I want to thank you all for coming and I want to thank all of the people who, who just everybody who sent something in to the song contest because I really believe that uh, no, it's songwriting that wins at, when, when we all give so much energy and attention to it. And this is a great time to be a songwriter. There's more and more people paying attention to it, coming to see it. And I'm really glad to see a full house here tonight. Um, with that, I'm going to uh, bring up the first presenter. Erin uh, Michelle is relatively new to song, but she is already uh, just, just a, a barnstormer of a great both performer, writer, and she's really great behind the scenes uh, teaching uh, workshops and helping us out. Um, she won the American Songwriter uh, Lyric Contest in November, December of this year. And um, I just want you to bring her to the stage, Erin Michelle. One of You by Cynthia Marie Schiller. Congratulations for having us. Finally, our silver in the children's category, a surprise performance tonight, Better Together by Allison Tartaglia and Lauren Spring. Please welcome Allison Tartaglia to the stage. She's in Florida, and I believe she's watching the show. This is called Better Together.
just comprise two of a kind. So Kufnats could not make it. We were hoping up to the last minute that maybe he'd bound up on stage right in time for his rap, but he, I just got an email from him that he's back on the stage. <laughs> Missed the train. Well, we're very excited to be here, and uh, we wrote this song as the finale of a musical that we wrote called The World Is Not Fair to You, and this song is called Wrong Beast. Now, I have a feeling there's a few musicians here today. So maybe we can get you to sing with us, because, you know, as children's musicians, that's what we tend to do. So uh, once you get the hang of the chorus, please, please join in. We're all in this together. It's time for us to start. We can make it better. songs like that when you were a kid? Sure, Captain Kangaroo. Or Captain Kangaroo. He had big pouches, <laughs> didn't he? Yes. This is Diana Quinn from Honky Tonk Confidential and the Fabulettes. This is Ron Goad. Great music is all about the pursuit of happiness. 
and we'd like to congratulate our new president, Jay Keaton. We're here right now to introduce the next presenter. Who almost needs no introduction at all. His name is Joel Pomerantz, and he's on the board of SAW. He's famous on YouTube. He has uh, two songs that you may have never heard of before. Bowling, bowling, bowling. And Drive Like an Idiot. Yes, he's here. He's great. He's been nominated for the Whammy for Most Supportive of Washington Music many times, and he really helps a lot at the Electric Maid in Tacoma Park and other places. The man about town, Joel Pomerantz. Thank you. Uh, thank you. I, I would now ask that the honorable mentions, if they're, if they're present in the room, uh, rise when their names are mentioned. Uh, honorable mentions, Cracks, makes, Make Me Less, B. Taylor Hart, I Know You, Lisa Ann Wright. It's a new year, James McDowell. Of all, Lisa Fenstermacher, Paul Fenstermacher. On the breath of God, Len Seligman. Peaceful Kingdom, Cindy Bush Beast. Unbroken, Susan Shan. Congratulations to the honorable mention. Finalists, and we ask the finalists if they're present, please rise, and we'll applaud afterwards. If Heaven Had a Phone, Farron Shiloh, Toms Brook, Michael Dasher, Chip Johnson, Ryan Minton. Until I Met You, Jim Fowler. Congratulations to the finalists. Silver, Unify, Mo Safran, Lauren, QB. This is Mel. Um, I wrote this song, Unify, after the events in Charlottesville in August. Um, I was moved by the whole situation, and um, I wrote this song. I hope you guys enjoy.
Thank you. Board Committee Bo Stafford. Well, the gold winners are Diane Hammer, Victoria Banks, and Michael Rhodes for the song Bottle of the Bible, and Michael Rhodes is going to perform it. Everybody on mic. Um, why don't you uh, just a little bit of story on this? Uh, Diane and Victoria and I wrote this song back in yeah, August, and it was the first time we'd ever written together, so that was kind of fun. Um, and it all started from the title, Bottle of the Bible. I'd like to thank uh, Jay for uh, putting this on here tonight, uh, Jam and Jabba for hosting it, and a special thanks to Lucas back there running the soundboard. Sitting up there on the shelf, reason enough to reach for either one. Getting through this night as hard as hell. I'm just trying to hold out till it's done. Am I gonna open up the bottle or the Bible? Tonight, thank the way through pain. Am I gonna face the truth or drown it in denial? The bottle or the bag? Lord, I know the answer should be easy. All I wanna do is kill this ache. One of them is gonna take believe. The other one is just a shot away. Am I gonna open up the bottle or the Bible? Something's gotta take away this pain. Am I gonna face the truth or drown it in denial? what category we just announced. Uh, Joel was so excited he forgot to tell you this is the Gospel Christian Inspirational, but you can tell by how great the songs are what it is. And I just want to give this award to Diane for the gold. <laughs> What's going to happen next? Oh, well, R&B, hip-hop, and urban. When I think of that, I think of only one person. Actually, Grace wanted to know why I did this to her, and I did because I wanted Grace to come up and talk. As long as I have been going uh, to SAW events, Grace shows up at more toolboxes, workshops. She writes more songs than almost any other SAW person. She's on the board. She works tirelessly with, tirelessly with us, and 
It's really great to have her here tonight. Welcome her to the stage, Grace Petrzecki. Deep 
down inside of me That's how I know it's true Wanna take you around the globe From Cape Town to Mexico I'll show you all Cause girl you look so good So good I'll do whatever you need And I'll take you wherever you please Like all around the world So I can take you Yeah, hashtag good And hashtag wonderful Hashtag everything Everything to me, baby He's a bit new to Saw, and he's um, somebody who's running open mics uh, all around the area. He runs a couple of them at one time, almost all year long, and a, a really great supporter of music in so many ways. Welcome to the stage, Mr. Dan Magnolia. the winners for the jazz and blues category here at the Mid-Atlantic Songwriters Competition. Uh, in reverse order, we're going to go, uh, please stand up when your name is called. We're going to do the honorable mention. We have one winner in the honorable mention category. It is for Bottom of the Bottle, written by Andrew Waldeck and Dara James. Give it up for Andrew Waldeck and Dara James. I'm going to assume you're signing. Finalists, we have three finalists. Uh, again, stand up when your name is called and hold your applause until the end. Uh, first finalist is Learn the Rules by Betty Morell. <laughs> Noah's Blues. I know, there was a cue that it made it seem like you were supposed to applaud. <laughs> uh, Noah's Blues by John Spear. And third, uh, Warm Me from the Winter Wind by Lynn Holyfield. Please give it up for all of those fantastic finalists. So without further ado, we have our Silver Award winner. And uh, this person is going to uh, approach up and uh, going to perform their silver award winning song, Recognize Be Me by Mike Frankie. Please applaud for that and keep it going until the next one. I don't 
Don't expect no miracles No man ain't meant to be But when I look in her eyes Lord, it makes me cry I wonder, could you recognize me? Contest, which goes to Marika for, uh, which was written by Laura Barron and Pat Quinn. Marika, which is a Dutch name, if you're just learning in the back, written by Laura Barron and Pat Quinn, and they're going to join us to perform that song right now. So please give them a round of applause. Thank you so much. All right. Well, I'm very appreciative of the Middle Atlantic Song Contest for this gold award for my song, and I also want to thank. Um, Pat, who always has the jazz chords and has an influence on so many of my songs. Now, Marika was a young woman who was a victim of domestic violence. And the organization, in honor of her, requested that I write a song as a celebration of her life. So I know there's a lot of songwriters here, and I had never met Marika. I had heard a little bit about so I kind of closed my eyes to see if maybe I could feel a, a presence. And I was wondering, um, what about angels? Could there be an angel? What do you think? I wonder, could there be an angel waiting near me? Something that's lighter than air, always with me. And when I whisper a prayer, can she hear me? Always remember you 
darkness and warms me when I'm feeling scared. She's like a butterfly sent here to guide us. Pure inspiration, there's music in the And when you whisper a prayer, can she hear you? Marika, Marika, the wind calls out your wind calls out your. Congratulations, Laura and Pat, you have another big hand. But like getting out the bathing suit. I'm introducing Mr. Steve Coffey, who's on the board of Saw, plays uh, guitar and mando, I believe, in the Harley String Band, and has written a folk opera called Rain Follows the Plow. He's going to introduce uh, the uh, honorable mentions and winners in the country and bluegrass category. Give him a hand, Steve. Indie Bible, I'm 
not sure what they are, but I'm sure that they're worth checking out. Michelle Lockie's music, um, Oasis CD Manufacturing, Roland and Shure, a couple of household names there, Song Builder Studio. in this case. So, thanks to all our sponsors. Okay, now I'm going to read the, the names of the um, honorable mentions in the country and bluegrass category. You guys know the drill. Corner of My Eye by Eric Blossman. Fall All the Way by Chris Matthews. Game Changer by Scott Miller and Lee Johnson. Win a Year by Lauren Spring. Knock on Wood, Life is Good by Elliot Dinneberg. Rescue Dog by Ross J. Miller and Randy Crenshaw. Shady Valley by Kaylee Hill. That One Weird Kid by Nancy Katz Triplett. And The Line, That Was You by Matt Holson. So, honorable mentions. <laughs> we have three finalists in the country bluegrass category. Everything's Changing by Lawrence Bayer and Justin Pokrivka. I had to look that up. Pokrivka. Long Hard Road to You by Frank Hogan's. Stand Down by Susan Shan. Good finalists. Yeah. <laughs> we have a Silver Award winner, winner, Nowhere to Go Except Gone by Frank Hogan's. to know is not here tonight because he's in Nashville playing at the Bluebird Cafe tonight. So we'll give him a break. We'll give him a break. Our gold winner is here, uh, I believe, uh, Blood by Ted Swarmstedt. Ted, are you here? Ted, here. Yeah. up with my craziness and writing all these songs like she doesn't understand it but she supports it so my, my kids and everybody else that uh, is part of my songs and all the time that they put in and listen to the stuff that I do it's crazy yeah but thank you thank you Steve coffee and Ted, don't don't leave the building. There, there's something else going to happen to you tonight. You're going to be initiated tonight. Ooh, weird club. Uh oh. And speaking of weird clubs, the next presenter I asked to come here. I asked him to come for a couple of reasons. The first and most important reason is that he has been in working behind the scenes, in front of the scenes, around the scenes in show business for the last 40 or 50 years. I met him uh, 30 or 40 years ago when a young upstart named uh, Mary Chapin Carpenter had a manager who was tireless in, uh, in, in cha championing her, and, uh, and he was that manager. He now is uh, the booker at Bethesda Jazz and Blues. He does a great job of doing immen immensely uh, good shows there. Bring him to the stage, Mr. Tom Carrico. Yeah. Good evening. How's everybody doing? You know what I love about this event? It's like a, really a community. When you find your people, you know, it's, it really makes a difference. And I applaud Saw and everyone for all the hard work they've done from the very early days up till now to keep this thing going. I often compare these kind of events to like going, to, to those who haven't participated, to going to like basketball camp or tennis camp. Everyone's doing it. And nobody's going, what do you really do? What's your day job? Um, you know, you're respected for being, doing music. Um, I'm going to be presenting the instrumental category here. Um, and I'm going to take a second uh, to say hello to my buddy, uh, Les Hatton. Everybody say hello to Les. He's watching at home. Those of you who know Les know he lights up a room. He's your biggest fan. 
is the definition of, of what is great about this organization in terms of bringing people together and delivering. Um, he's, not, he's not big on promise, he's big on delivery. Um, a fellow successful manager told me years ago, he says, Tom, we're in the pizza business. I said, Denny, we're in the pizza business? He has uh, we got to deliver. <laughs> so that's what managers are faced with every day. Um, I met Les when I was 15 years old, which, if you're counting, that's like the Jurassic period. Um, <laughs> We shared something in a place that I guess today you'd call community. These days we call these things networking opportunity. Back then, the adults called it that nasty teen club. But that's where I met Les, and we were both there to see bands. And immediately we just struck up a friendship. I started playing band. We played in our first two bands together. I will pay you a lot of money if anyone has a recording of the Delmores, our first band, short-lived. Les is the only one laughing about this. Um, anyhow, we were in a lot of bands together. We, we were housemates. We shared laughs, um, difficult, sad moments. Um, but he's always been there. And he's just the most generous guy, the most generous of spirit. You meet him, he's so glad to meet you. He's probably bought your CD. He played on so many people's recordings over the years. Michelle Murray, uh, Don Bridges. I always, he and I were always like side men. And then all of a sudden, Les became a writer. He put out two full CDs. He's still not a singer, although I, I, I heard rumors of him singing once with a crumpled hat. But what a guitar player. And uh, he was working on a, his next recording, strictly instrumental thing called Chocolate, a couple of years ago. And I got this text from him like six in the morning, which if you know me, I'm rarely, rarely see that out. Um, and it's Tom, I've had a stroke. Um, or I think I've had a stroke. If you followed him online or, or stayed in touch with him over the time since then, he's just been the most amazing fighter. And he's bouncing back. I'm sorry, I'm too close to this man. I'm sorry, I swore I wouldn't do that. Anyhow, this is just a salute to Les. For his, the, so the recording he was working on was completed uh, with the help of a lot of friends and it came out a few months ago. It's an EP called Chocolate and I'm telling you it's delicious. It's his best work I have ever seen. I'm still blown away by it. Um, so I'm thrilled that we're recognizing him here today. He was a big part of the board here. He was part of the board at the Writers Center. Gets things done, like I said. All right, I'm moving ahead here and getting to the real stuff. Tonight, the honorable mentions for instrumental. Boy, you put Grandpa up here, and this is going to take a <laughs> Bryce by Aaron Markowitz and Emily Burns. These are honorable mentions. Journey by Daniel R Ruffing. September Moon, Ken Avis and David Rosenblatt. You can applaud. Sonata in E flat minor, movement three, Jonathan Morgan Petrini. Waltz in the Ruins by Matt Holson. Let's get something started. Laura Barron. Internal stars, my internal stars. Daniel Lee. <laughs> Richmond City Blues. Graham McCune Stoll. Temptation.
David Nachmanoff. <laughs> Think what might have been. Barry, I've got to apologize, Barry. Barry Gilsett Zaylor and Alan Roy Scott. Perfect. Yeah? Yeah, perfect. <laughs> Waltz for yourself. Ken Avis and David Rosenblatt. White Cotton, Ronald Fetner. Winter Song, David Barber. Finalist Song, oh boy. I practiced this one too. Ritaro Rico. Takashi Sagasa-Jawa. I'm really sorry. I did practice that. <laughs> Sailor's Creek by Gina Clouds. Sonata in E-flat minor, movement two by Jonathan Morgan Petrini. The Silver Award, a part by Jeremy Stepanski. category, please welcome her, Mari Black, from the song, Lost Bells. so much for having us all, for putting all of us on and, and all the, the people power that goes into putting something like this together. Thank you. Turns out I'm tall. Um, <laughs> who knew, right? Uh, no, it, it's really great fun to be here tonight. Uh, this is a, a set of tunes. I, I've been uh, catching tunes. I talk about catching as opposed to writing because I'm not like a person who can construct things. Um, same way that many of the folks here tonight can. Uh, but this is one of the earliest set of tunes uh, that I caught and was willing to share with other people. Um, and so it's kind of fun that uh, this is now the one that everybody likes. Um, there are tunes that I, I caught from uh, when I was in college. Um, I love to go around this you know, Gothic architecture campus, and, and I was nocturnal. And I love to, um, <laughs> was, uh, I love to kind of seek out um, places and kind of corners that weren't necessarily hidden, but hidden in plain sight where beautiful things could hide. And so when I would explore the campus at night, I would do things like uh, find out that the, the door to the bell tower of some church was just open. And so I went in and found, you know, stained glass by the moonlight and uh, hanging on the rooftops and watching moonlight play in the puddle and make rainbows and all sorts of beautiful things. So these are, these are tunes of wonder in plain sight.
you're familiar with the place, it is considered one of the nation's foremost music venues, and the Brindley Brothers are opening a new place down on the waterfront in D.C., and we wish them all the luck with that. They have kids' programs here in the mornings, and all kinds of events with uh, young people and uh, uh, people uh, you, you might uh, really enjoy here, so check out jamandjava.com. I want to take you back to great uh, comments made by Tom Carrico earlier. He's, uh, he's really a, a mover and a shaker and a great musician in himself, and he was talking about Les Hatley. And uh, I remember when I, I judged a high school battle of the bands, and Tom Carrico was one of the judges next to me there at Robinson Ram Jam here in Fairfax. And, and he introduced himself, and he told me, he had a lot of clients, but he was going to put all his eggs in one basket named Mary Chapin Carpenter. I think he made a good move, don't you? <laughs> you know, what an angel. And now when he says, we'll be at a show, and he'll say, I really like that band, but don't tell them. Because <laughs> he doesn't want to get the host. Les Hadley, we love Les. Uh, he's got CDs getting airplay around the world. And uh, I got to play drums on one song. It's a song called Faster. And it's because the song goes faster and faster and faster. And some of us drummers do that naturally. We can't help it. So he hired me to play on faster. They couldn't find a machine to do it, I guess. But we're, we're thinking of you less. That's for sure. Now, many of us think of Mary Cliff as um, our music uh, guru. And it's really exciting uh, over the last 40-some years, to be going down the road late at night and to listen to uh, some songs on the radio, and then Mary will tell you where those musicians are performing. She likes to do that. She's been promoting music hither and yon for decades. MaryCliff.net and her show Traditions is, has been uh, part of the foundation of our music community here for uh, a long time. And she really uh, is more chance she'll play your song if you have a gig and it's not a love song, okay? Sappy love song, forget it. No, sorry. But um, we love her, and here she is to present the Young Artist Award, Mary Cliff. Thank you. I don't know why they chose one of the oldest people here to present this, but hey. Um, yeah, I got into radio in 1966. And uh, on the air in 1968, doing what we now call progressive rock. And uh, that was with uh, WAVA and then briefly with WHFS before anybody no noticed it. And uh, then WETA for more than 35 years, doing everything under the sun. They traded Garrison Keeler and me to WAMU in 2000, well, 10 years ago. Whoops, 11 years ago. And... Um, I'm now on WERA LP 96.7 FM in Arlington, Virginia, where I grew up. So I like this. Um, we we need young artists, uh, especially in the in in the folk field. If you go to a concert, you stand in the back and you see grayheads, and this is fine, but we need them to bring their kids and their grandkids in. You know and teach them, second and third generation performers. That's cool. Um, so our, our uh, second place uh, young artist, songwriter, performer, is Daniel Derrico. His song, No Fear. Step. Yeah, it takes a lot of guts. When you don't feel like you can, it can drive you nuts. Just gotta push through. I have something for you. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. All right. All right. Yes. Yes, I like topical songs and story songs. And, um, our, our other young artist, the first place um, awardee, um, is studying music and ethnomusicology at Wesleyan. She's a New Yorker, has been writing and singing and, and making music all of her life, and went to a performing arts high school. She's got a new CD coming out, and there will be a CD as well as digital. Um, 
at least limited edition. And it's called Eventide. And she will be backed up here by a Beckett Cerny. Let's welcome Young Artist Award winner, your song bookends, Daphne Gampel. Um, I'm so excited to be here playing for you all, uh, accompanied by Beckett Cerny, who came from Connecticut to play with me tonight. Um, yeah. uh, uh, like Mary said, I've been singing and writing music since I was pretty small, so I'm really grateful to be uh, recognized by SAW. And um, yeah, I just want to thank everyone involved and everyone here tonight for coming up. This is Bookends. to waste my time hesitations and double negations you don't have to say it but you've got to know i've got to give you try to give you everything and it gave you less to lean on try to give you try to give you everything and it gave you less to lean on friendly lean on each 
each other just like. Thank you. One more time for Daphne Gamble. Was that nice? I especially love listening to new young artists because you just know the music is going to keep growing when you hear that stuff. And when you talk about the music growing in this area, there are so few people I know who stay in music, who make their living in music, who find a way to make it happen in music. But this next presenter is a gentleman that uh, is a uh, runs uh, an open mic and a showcase for uh, Saw, and he plays out uh, 16, 18 times a month. He produced and is one of the members of the Haley Fahey Band, and he is exactly the kind of person that I want to get on the board at Saw. Hint, hint, we're going to be have elections next month. Bring to the stage Mr. John Troop. Thank you so much, Jay and Songwriters Association Washington. Really appreciate it. It is a thrill and an honor to introduce to you the winners of the Rock and Alternative category. So we're going to start with some honorable mentions. Come Back by Matt Wolp. Girl Talk, I Want a Boy by Faron Shiloh. Internet of Things, Feed the Machine by Chris Hardy. Pave a One-Way Road by Casey Truman. Runaway by Johnny Zapp. That's a rock and roll name right there. <laughs> Zapp. Time Will Tell, Tom McCarthy. 23, Ian Sloan. And Waiting on You by Michael Dasher, Chip Johnson, and Ryan Mitten. Let's give it up for everybody. Come on. Okay, it's time for your rock and roll and alternative finalists. Open Door by Chuck Smith and John Langan. Reinvent by Keegan Corby. And Running with the Wind by Nick Falconer. Yeah. And the silver winner for a song called Rage. That's a rock and roll title right there, Rage. And they will be performing that very song shortly. Let's give it up for Charles Maven, Jay Lunsford, Rob Z, True Love, and Joey Garcia. So while they're setting up, I'm going to introduce to you the gold winner. Now, this person, she's definitely some alternative, but truly rock and roll, dressing in leather pretty much all the time for her wonderful song called Song of My Life. Let's give it up for Holly Montgomery. <laughs> Holly couldn't be here because she's playing a gig somewhere, you know? So uh, we're going to hold this one for Holly. We'll make sure that she gets it. Let's give it up for all the rock and alternative winners. That was great. <laughs> so before they get started, I just want to tell you really quick, uh, we, we live in a wonderful town we are truly blessed to have all these great musicians and songwriters and performers. We have so many in this town. Unfortunately, some of them, uh, you know, we have so many great ones. And some of them, they make their way to New York and L.A., so stay, stay, don't go. Um, 
And, and we also have just a tremendous amount of support in our community for local music. So many people come out to support it. And lastly, we have an immense amount of venues. So many have opened up in the past few years. And um, we're just so fortunate in our nation's capital. It's turning into a mecca for live music. You think about all the really amazing venues that have opened up over the past five to 10 years. So uh, thanks to everyone who supports our wonderful local music scene. And uh, you guys ready to go? I think so. You guys ready to rock ready and to alternative? Yep. OK. We really are. <laughs> and uh, thank you so much, seriously, for getting this award. This is awesome. Uh, we want to do a quick thanks to Chris Gooden for mixing the song. Uh, just thank you for the artist community around here. You guys are all awesome. Thank you for being here tonight. And thank you, guys. I think we're good to go. <laughs> The song's rage. Show 
Thank you, guys. That was great. This is pretty good, isn't it? We're getting a lot of music in. And we are, uh, we are ahead of time. I'm Diana Quinn. I'm on the board of SAW, and I'm also on the board of WAMA, the Washington Area Music Association. And we recently announced that WAMA is closing its doors after 33 years, including 30 years of the Whammies. WAMA, like SAW, is a nonprofit volunteer organization dedicated to focusing global attention to area musicians and music. And it has been headed up by Mike Schreibman since the very beginning. I'd like to say thank you to Mike Schreibman. I'm sure you would all like to, too. Mike, if you're watching, hi. Wish you were here. <sighs> um, WAMA has nurtured the careers of many of us, uh, including Mary Chapin Carpenter. Um, I do have a little bit of news, which is that WAMA is in talks with another nonprofit to continue the Whammies. That's what we're trying to do. And we hope to continue the Whammy, uh, WAMA Hall of Fame. So we, we believe in both of those things, and so we hope that we're able to do that. <sighs> Thank you. I'm announcing the winners in the adult contemporary category. Honorable mentions, if you're here, please stand up, and then at the end of the announcing, everyone can applause. Ain't Enough by John Wirt Hannum. Chamomile, or chamomile, Nick Falconer, Falconer. Don't Ever Doubt That You Are Loved, Lawrence Bayer. Let You Go, Mitch Hammer, Diane Hammer, Victoria Banks. <laughs> Love and Justice, Daphne Gampel. Love It When You Leave, Lauren O'Brien, Mitch DeStefano. Shatterproof, Chris Matthews. Stand, Melinda Hale and Kevin Porter. And Time to Say Goodbye, Kit Taylor and Marv Ross. Give them a hand. <laughs> honorable mentions. And if you win, if you're a finalist or you are an honorable mention winner, you can go up to the front to receive your certificate. Not yet, a little later. During a commercial. The finalists are Beautiful Two by Tegan Devon, Black Moses, Harriet Tubman, Andy Palmer, and Our Time, Deborah Gussin and Dale Efren. Give them a hand. We thought we were going to have some music, but we're not. From the silver winner, I get to announce her, That Girl by Leah Morris. Isn't she the sun and the moon? of the song. And gold, the gold winner is Moon Safari, Farron Shiloh. And that's it for this category. And we're going to bring up Ron Gold next. My pleasure to introduce a renaissance man in the music community, somebody I've admired for years. He's an award-winning photographer. He um, also has an award-winning beauty salon, and I'm not kidding. And he's a fantastic singer-songwriter who reminds me of Bruce Springsteen on a very good day. He's a music leader. He puts a lot of other people on stage. We really like that about folks. Dominic Sicala. And he's a roots rock man, so it's most appropriate that you're announcing the awards for this category. I was sitting there thinking that. It's kind of typecasting. I, I, think, I think I'm the only one that kind of benefited from that, perhaps. And I'm also, I think it was Steve on the taller side. Well, thank you, everybody. I am thrilled, thrilled to be here. This is my first time playing Jam and Java. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. This is going in my EPK. Don't you worry. It's going to be in there by tomorrow. Anyway, I, I am a little disappointed that there's not a, uh, an envelope to open. I, I will be talking with people about that later. But, uh, I mean, 
that is really the, the nature of award shows. Anyway, this, um, this is a category near and dear to my heart. So I, I'd like to, I'm not sure we've been doing this, and I'm not sure how many of the folks are here, but if you would indulge me as I try to throw a monkey wrench into the plans just a little bit, and when I call your honorable mention name, if you would just stay standing, because I noticed when I was sitting in the audience that people were up and down before we really had a chance to give you some recognition, and, and that's really what this is about. So please, honorable mention in the folk rock Americana typo says American. Americana and Roots Rock category. Canyonlands, Graham McCune Stoll. You can stand and, and stay standing if you want. Catch you, Laura Barron. Come back, Matt Wolpe. And pardon me if I screw anybody's name. This one I'll get. Darkness Falls, Mike P. Ryan. Diversity, Seth Keibel. Falling is Good, Christopher Sia. Free and Homeward, Graham McCune Stoll. Hail the Coming Day, Travis Puntarelli. The Imagineers, Chris Matthews. If you guys are here, would you stand, please? And please, give them a round of applause. I'm on a short leash here, so I'll keep it, keep it uh, to the program. The finalist, and same thing if you're here in the audience. I know at least one of them is not. Long Hard Road to You, Frank Hogan's. We know where Frank is tonight. Rockabye Sin, great title. James Green, Walking Down the Street in America, Abe Loomis. Any of you all here? Okay, round of applause for them in absentia. All right, and the silver goes to Eight Ball, K Miracle. Eight Ball is where the undecided go. The future floats in the magic window. Okay, is not here. I'm assuming my my sheet is. Is she is? Where is she? Is she coming up? That's what I thought. Well, let me tell you a little bit about myself. I was born not too far from here. I, I, I was the one backstage applauding on the Whamma thing because that is a great thing. Um, Washington Music Association was one of the first associations I certainly got involved in, and it would be nice to see them come back. And I know they had a great partnership with Saul, so I'm hoping that that relationship continues. In the meantime, as I was saying, I was born. <laughs> it wasn't a log cabin. It wasn't too far from here. I was born in D.C. Any natives here? Three, really? That's it? Yeah, wow. Huh. Tacoma Park? Oh, that's, that, that's almost, that's the People's Republic of Tacoma Park, so that's not exactly the, I don't know, we'd have to take a vote on that as to whether or not you're actually um, permitted in here. Well, since I have some time, um, I'm going to go forward on a little bit. And let me, let me again do a little self-serving. I was going to talk about this a little bit earlier, but um, I also run a series with the city of Gaithersburg um, out in Gaithersburg. We have a small theater that we bring in singer-songwriters. And we do workshops, which should be of, of interest to folks here this evening um, with the artists. We've had people, we're now in our sixth season, so we've had Mary Gaucher and Slade Cleves and Marshall Crenshaw and Don Dixon and Marty Jones and just a, just a whole load of great singer-songwriters, and they do a workshop for us, and they also do a, uh, a concert in the evening. If you're interested, we have coming up, the, the season ends in May. Um, our next two shows, and I should have been better prepared, Laura Cantrell will be one of them, if you're not familiar with her work. She's a great singer-songwriter. And then David Olney, who's also a pretty amazing singer-songwriter in his own right. David's in May, though I don't know the date. Excellent, ladies and gentlemen. K Miracle. Miracle. It's a miracle. Better late than never, right? <laughs> 
I wrote this song about that magical toy called the 8-Ball, I said how, how easy it would be if uh, you uh, could make all your major decisions with that. So it inspired a song. Okay, and the gold, and they, they will not be performing tonight, unfortunately, but uh, the gold goes to Pick Me Up, Michael Dasher, Chip Johnson, and Ryan Metton. Baby, pick me up, maybe just for tonight. We can see what we saw in each other's eyes. We can break down the walls we've been hiding behind. Come and pick me up, baby, just for tonight. I'd like to say thank you to the judges for voting for our song. Uh, just a little bit about ourselves is uh, Mike and I have been friends for about 25 years, and I think it was about 14 years ago we decided, yeah, let's try and write a song. I, I was writing guitar, playing guitar, and I knew Mike wrote poetry. And so um, we got together one time, and we just had a great time. We wrote a song. I don't know if it was any good, but it was. we just had so much fun. And so we've gotten together pretty much almost on a weekly basis ever since. And 
our big problem was we weren't performers, and I was told I couldn't sing. And so <laughs> we uh, luckily we were introduced to Chip Johnson. He's not here today, but he was able to make the songs better, and that's why we're here today. So thank you. Thank you so much. Well, it's true that just for a couple of measly months, I've been president of SAW, but the next presenter had that honor for five years. He kept us together. He, uh, he kept me at bay. He uh, kept things going for five years. And, and he's going to talk a little bit about SAW if I, if I saved enough time. Oh, and one more thing I, f I, forget to, uh, I forgot to announce. If you're an honorable mention or a finalist, they're keeping the, your certificates in the back. If you're here, you can pick them up. I mean, I, I say the back. It's the front back there. Where, when you, for when you came in, they've got them there. If you're an honorable mention or a finalist, pick up your certificates there, please. Uh, that's enough from me. Let me bring to stage the real president of SAW, Mr. Rob Veal. Jay's the real president of SAW. He's... Uh, stood up and uh, took over the organization. I think it's going in a great direction. It's going to get a whole lot better. But the interesting thing is um, I had uh, I spent like a little over 30 years in the military. And I moved back from Sweden. And I started writing music. And somebody said, um, actually, I went to a performance. And I said, hey, how do you learn about writing music? Who do you go to? Who do you talk to? And they say, you need to find this thing called Saw. <laughs> this is a great story. So. <laughs> So I started looking around, and I find Saw, and I call the phone number. They had a phone number. How many of you knew that Saw had a phone number? I called, and I left a message, and one waited a week. I called, left a message, waited a week, called, left a message. And finally, I went to some event, and, and I showed up, and I found somebody on the board, and I said, you know, I've been leaving messages. I said, oh, we stopped listing the messages like five years ago. <laughs> so we no longer have a phone, but um, <laughs> saving all that money. Um, a lot goes into... Um, uh, into running an organization like the Songwriters Association of Washington. I think you all know that. Um, I kind of started, I started writing music. I just volunteered and started doing things. And Gene Bayou, who was the previous president to me, who uh, uh, moved down to Florida, she said, Rob, you ought to be on the board. So I would encourage anybody who wants to get involved, especially the young people. I've seen a few young people here tonight. That's great. Um, the organization needs, um, needs people to volunteer. Uh, it's hard to cold call people. So if you think you have a talent and you want to offer it, by all means, you know, please, please do that. So I joined, uh, I joined the board, and then eventually I became the treasurer and then the secretary, and, and then I became the president. And then I'm, uh, after moving like, I don't know, 25 times or something, I told my wife that um, she can choose where we move, and it's not going to be in Washington, D.C. So I had to uh, resign from the board, and we're going to be uh, leaving and moving south. But so, you know, the organization takes people. We have a, a the organization. You, you as SAW members, have a great um, board of directors. You've met a lot of them here tonight. Like I said, get a chance, talk to them, get involved. The other thing is, this contest would not be uh, a success if it wasn't for a whole lot of people. Laura Lynn Coles. I know you've probably seen her in previous uh, contests. She basically kicked off this year's contest, took care of getting all the judges and, and doing all of, the, all of the, uh, um, the, the judging of the, of the contest. In addition, she went out and she had to find sponsors. And how many of you have taken the chance to look on the back of this list and see who all the sponsors are? So if you haven't, take it with you, look at it. If you get a chance to, um, to thank any of the sponsors or to use any of the sponsors, we really appreciate it. Tell them that uh, you're only there because of the Songwriters Association of Washington, and perhaps they will sponsor us again in, uh, in coming years. Um, so um, the last thing I'd like to do is introduce uh, the honorable mentions of the open category. Um, I had the, uh, the privilege of being one of the judges on this, and there's roughly 100 songs. And judging a song contest is not easy. Um, it, uh, there's a lot. You know, we had 100 songs, and so you listen to 100 songs, and, and then you have to go through and then get with the other judges on a, on a conference call and go back and forth between the judges and what you hear to come up with the, you know, the eventual winners. But um, the one thing, whenever I do this, I'm just amazed at the talent that's out there. I mean, there's tough choices picking 
um, everything from the honorable mentions, the finalists, and the, and the winners. So I'm going to mention uh, the honorable mentions. If you're here, please stand. Uh, Donald Duck Umbrella, Rich Ibert. Home, Adam Bonomo. Lines in the Land, Ira Scott Levine and Julia Fortinello Levine. Meant to be, Chris Hardy. Semantic Dissemination, I Just Want to Hide, Chris Hardy. To Bring a Mermaid Home, Lawrence Bauer. And When You Found Me, Michael R.J. Roth. So please stand if you're in the room. Give them a round of applause. <laughs> then we picked um, three finalists. They were Battle Hem for an Army of Lovers by uh, Chris Matthews. East to West by Travis Pinderelli. Terms and Conditions by Mitch Hammer, Dan Hammer, and Clayton Jones. So if you're in the room, stand and give you. <laughs> the silver is going to be performed. It is Lessons in Love by Susan Rowe. Oh, so hard, so hard, these lessons in love. I wish that they could go easy. So I'm going to let her play the whole song, and then we'll present the award. Thank you. You know, songwriters need to be watered. It's, writing is for people that write in closets, for people that read in closets. So there's a lot of people here that have watered my, my little heart tonight. Um, Saul welcomed me with open arms when I joined this year. Uh, oh, gosh. Dan Magnolia. Uh, Ron Goad, my producer, Marco Delmar, um, Jay Keating, uh, my dear friend Ruthie Logsdon, and um, my dear friend Ann Tomlinson, who have stood by me through some dark times. <laughs> Lessons in love. I tried so hard to not write this song. Started to dream. Said so many times I was wrong, I almost believed. Lena, I don't love you. Don't say I don't love you. For once, can't you just let it ride? Come sit with me, friend. Watch the moon rise again. And remember, tomorrow's not tonight.
Tiffany Schott on violin. Wasn't that great? Congratulations. And then the uh, gold went to Dorothy's Alive and Well by Brian Derek Burroughs, and I'm making the assumption he's not here tonight. Um, Dorothy's Alive and Well in Kansas. She runs a little gift shop, so I'm told Where you can buy a genuine commemorative copy Of a piece of that yellow brick road Coming okay, to bring uh, the current president, Jay, back up on the stage. He's the one that you want to go to if you want to volunteer for the organization or if you have ideas. So talk to Jay. Rob Veal will be opening the North Carolina chapter of the Songwriters Association of Washington. He doesn't know it yet. He thinks he's free, but we're not going to let him. You know, we've, we've had a couple people up here. Dominic uh, Chicala talked about his venue. Um, there's another great organization that I am part of that, uh, that does shows all over town. And if you don't know about them, find out about them and support their shows. It's Focus Music. And I'm going to bring somebody up to talk about them in a little while. But I saw this next performer uh, at a concert of Focus Music. And then a couple of weeks later, she went to the Lincoln Center and won the new stage competition. I don't know what it's all about, but I knew it was important enough that I wanted you to hear her. And her name is Chris Matthews, uh, a really great local performer. Let's welcome her. Thanks so much. And how about a round of applause for Howard Robach and Lucas. They're running sound and running the stage, making this happen all night long. We have a whole bunch of people. We have people working out in the, in the front. We have people working back here. As, as Rob was talking, this is a volunteer organization, and it, it, it runs well, and it's fun to be at because there are so many great volunteers. Speaking of which, Mr. Steve Pendleberry, the head of the AV Club, is switching and live streaming. You can go home and go, I, I didn't pay attention to any of those songs. I could watch, you can watch them again if you go to Saw's website because we'll leave that up. We have um, cameramen. We have everything you could possibly want in Saw. So I'm just filling time while Chris gets ready. I don't really know what to say. But one more time, at focusmusic.org. Check them out. Look them up there. They do concerts in Alexandria, in Maryland, in Falls Church. They, they do them all over the area. And they are really great local concerts that if you don't hear about them, you're not going to know to go to them. And just to give you an idea of what you can hear about, this is Chris Matthews. They say that freedom is a constant struggle. They say that freedom is a constant struggle. They say that freedom is a constant struggle, oh Lord. We've struggled so long, we must be free, we must be free. Black lives matter, oh yes they do. And yes, of course, all lives do too. But they don't see me the way they see you. You reach for your ID, they smile, I reach for mine. Is a constant rise. They say that freedom 
is a constant cry. Oh Lord, we've cried so long. We must be free. We must be free. Black lives matter. Why can't you see? What makes you less afraid of them than you are of us, than you are of me? Protect and serve us, not kill and hurt us. Oh Lord, how many black lives will it take before that thin blue line turns purple? They say that freedom is a constant sorrow. They say that freedom is a constant sorrow. They say that freedom is a constant sorrow, oh Lord. We've sorrowed so long, we must be free, we must be free. Black lives matter, both young and old. So many names on my heart, and yet so many stories left untold. When will it end, Lord? When will it end? Tell me why does it feel like it's 1968 all over again? They say that freedom is a constant moaning. They say that freedom is a constant moaning. They say that freedom is a constant moaning. Oh Lord, we've moaned so long. We must be free. We must be free. Don't you turn away or oh, rise up, call out injustice, say their names. I'm no saver, no, not at all. It could just as well be my name as the next one on the wall. They say that freedom is a constant dying. They say that freedom is a constant dying. They say that freedom is a constant dying. Oh Lord, Lord, we have died so long. We must be free. Don't you love Chris Matthews? And she does that left-handed. Yeah, the guitar is backwards, you may have noticed. So one night recently, she won a national competition, the New Song Mountain Stage Competition at Lincoln Center. And that was the culmination of a lot of competition among thousands of songwriters across the country. And then the next night, she performed, she drove down to uh, Reston, Virginia, to play at a little coffee house in Lake Ann. Now that's dedication right there. She didn't let the fame go to her head. So we admire her for that. Now, I'd like to introduce to you a, a person who's been a saw leader and a mover and shaker in the community for many years. And I first met Michelle Murray when she and Les Hatley were, were performing together and they would come to my shows in Centerville, Virginia at Red Rocks Cafe and Tequila Bar. And I just uh, fell in love with her and her music ever since. And she's gone through many reinventions as she uh, has uh, come up with all kinds of different sounds. She even is convincing as country and bluegrass. And um, it, it's uh, wonderful that she likes to put other people on stage, too. Uh, you, might have, you might recognize her voice from Traffic Reports on WTOP. She's got a new EP coming out. She's got a radio show coming out. And uh, if you've got CDs you want to give to somebody to play on the air, then you might want to talk to Michelle Murray. Here she is. As I carefully move the microphone. Thank you, Ron. Um, yeah, I'm going to be doing a show on... Um, 88.5 HD2 Bluegrass Country Radio starting in February. It's going to be an Americana-style show, so come see me if you've performed tonight in that genre. All right, so for the pop category, let's first go to the honorable mentions. 
uh, starting with um, Carry Me by Ashley Fulton. You're here. You can stand up. Um, Compass by Susan Shan and uh, Robin Hackett. Echo by Chad Hamilton and Jordan Kenzie. Missing Your Love, Tiffany Sayers. Running with the Wind, Nick Falconer. Hope I said that right. Uh, Step Out, Bruce Moore and Juliana Smith. Story of an Underdog, Daniel Derrico. Take Me Away, Casey Truman. Let's give a hand for all the honorable mentions. All right. And the finalist in the pop category, uh, Nick Falconer with Chamomile, um, Mia Rocks and Alyssa Marino with Checkmate, and Marielle Kraft with How Far You Feel. Let's hear it for the finalists. I would tell Ron, drum roll, please, you know, because he's a, <laughs> he can do that from, from, from over there. <laughs> the silver winner, um, song called You'll Be Back. Uh, by Deborah Gusson and Jonathan Bluth. If you're here, so come to the stage. I thought that was someone coming to the stage, but I guess not. <laughs> so let's hope the gold winner is here. And that is Exception to the Rule by Deborah Gusson, Ryan Martinez, and Mike Westbrook. We will make sure these awards get to the winners. Let's hear it again for the pop winners. Let's hear it again for Michelle Murray. She's always doing something good in the area. And speaking of always doing something good in the area, I started to talk a little bit about Focus Music, and um, the next presenter is the president of Focus Music. And if you are looking, like I said, for local and uh, national touring acts who play the kind of this kind of music and who play little clubs all over town, you're going to have to know Scott Moore, and you're going to have to find out about Focus Music. I'll let him tell you about it. Scott Moore. Good evening. Thanks for being here. My daytime job is actually working for the government, so I have nothing to do right now. So. <laughs> it, was, uh, it was good to hear Chris. Uh, I saw her last night in, uh, in Rockville at Montgomery College. She got a standing ovation for doing those songs and others before Tom Paxton came on stage. Tom was complaining about having to follow such a great act. So... Um, I have a lot of, uh, a number of folks that uh, got named tonight who have played Focus shows, and a number of uh, others uh, will play Focus uh, this year and, and coming times. Focus has, uh, we have three active, four active venues right now in Bethesda, Rockville, uh, two in Alexandria, and we have occasional shows in Arlington and Falls Church. Um, like I say, a number of the folks who have uh, played here or who, who have played tonight and whose names you've heard have uh, played Focus shows. Ron Goad's band, uh, The Harried Americans, will be playing next uh, Sunday at uh, Positano's in, um, in Bethesda. And, um, you know, you'll see uh, some of these others as well. Um, and um, also Positano's on February 25th, a number of the winners uh, from tonight will be uh, on a showcase, uh, a uh, Mid-Atlantic Song Contest showcase. So uh, please check out focusmusic.org for that. So I have the pleasure of announcing the Folk Acoustic Awards. The honorable mentions, please stand if you're here and stay standing to get recognition. First, Anywhere Will Do by Lauren Spring and Scott Feldman. By My Side, Chris Matthews. Call Anita, Jim Green. Jerry Getz and Tim Crouch. Darkness Falls by Mark, uh, Mike P. Ryan. Georgia by Ben Eppard. Joseph Thacker's Blues, Tony Danikos. Lessons in Love, Susan Rowe. Rabbit Hole by Lisa Bastoni. And Whole Life of You, Heather Kenny. Please give them a round of applause. 
The finalists for folk acoustic category, Dominion by David A. Alberting, Final Vow, Gwen Levy, and Only Baby Now, Heather Aubrey Lloyd. And to announce her name for about the sixth or seventh time tonight, Silver Prize for Folk Acoustic, We Must Be Free by Chris Matthews, and she, uh, her co-writer on that, that is Roberta Slavitt. Is a constant crying. They say that freedom is a constant crying. They say that freedom. So uh, that that song was adapted from a mid '60s uh, spiritual by Roberta Slavitt, and uh, Chris did a great job on that, obviously. The gold winner for Folk Acoustic is for Ain't Enough by John Wart Hannum. How we ever gonna make it When the going gets tough I love you, you love me Sometimes love just ain't enough John uh, lives in Alberta and wasn't able to come here tonight, so I will accept this award on his behalf, and I thank you for uh, supporting these artists, and we hope to uh, see you at a future show. Thank you. That was Scott Moore. He and his wife Paula run a house concert series. There are all kinds of nice people here tonight who um, spend a lot of time and energy and uh, putting other people on stage. It's just something we like to do. So if you're not familiar with Focus Music and some of these other nonprofits around here, please do. We all work together. We are part of the music family here in the D.C. area, and we're, we're friends, aren't we? Everyone's friends. Well, it's a lot, a lot of peace and give love your, here. Give your neighbor a hug. There you go. Come on, I'm serious. Give your neighbor a hug. That's yeah. Right. Uh, say say kumbaya with me. Uh, kumbaya. Oh my gosh, I didn't mean that. Oh my goodness. We're well, almost at the end of the show. We are. We've got three big awards to announce, and then we're going to invite the president to uh, announce a final award, and uh, we've got a song. We're going to hear a song. Does that sound good? Has everybody had a good time? I'm really, really happy. I think it's the first time we've ever had a sold out situation here. And everyone next year, you know, submit like three or four or five songs, okay? Or ten. Now, we'd like to announce the third overall. There's a special panel of judges, and they get together, and they do mud wrestling and everything, and, and they fight it out, and then... Third overall is Dorothy's Alive and Well by Brian Derrick Burroughs. What does that look alive like? Alive and, well in Kansas. and she runs a little gift shop, so I'm told. No. Where you can Derek's buy not here, so Diane's buy. taking that home. I think. <laughs> now, would you like to? Sure. The second overall prize goes to, and this is what it looks like Ted Swarmstead for Blood. Where's Ted? It's where we're from. It's what we bleed. Blood. It's shared with love. This is nice. A certificate. Thank you, Todd. A check. It's great. This is great. Do you want to say something? Yeah, come on up and say something. Let's hear it. It's a, it's a kind of odd title, Blood, but it's about all the things that happen with blood. But in our veins, we're all the same. We're all the color of blood. So thank you. And now we're both going to announce a um, grand prize, but that won't be the end. It's, uh, we've still got something else here. I got my so fingerprints on it. The, the panel uh, got together, and apparently they um, came to the conclusion that the grand prize winner would be John Wart Hannum. Ain't Enough. How we ever gonna make it? There we go. <laughs> when the going gets tough. And the president of Saw, Jay Keating, has a statement from Canada. What's that, a boat? Uh, no, I don't. Uh. 
Dear Mid-Atlantic Song Contest, I wish I could be with you tonight to join in the celebration of song. Although songwriting began as a means to make sense of my life and this world we share, it has also become a way for me to sing out loud the things I have difficulty saying out loud. I love writing songs. I love the challenge. I love how it makes my heart hurt. I love the childlike giddiness I feel when I think I'm onto something good and my pen cannot move fast enough to get it all down before it's lost. More than anything, though, I love the feeling of being part of a songwriting community. Congrats to all the songwriters, regardless of winning or not. To write a song is a feat that deserves jubilation. Thank you to the Songwriters Association of Washington, judges, sponsors, organizers, and fellow songwriters. I hope one day I meet you all. Have a great night, John. And now, and now, and now there's one more thing. And I would just like to mention one more time, we mentioned uh, her. Um, Laura Lynn Coles and Carrie Colvin actually ran this contest. They did all this work. And they made a lot of good decisions. But there's a one a part, we actually did have one, the, the Les Hatley Award was a director's award. And this next award is a director's award because I, I get to have some fun as president of, of SAW. And, at the beginning of the show, I had a, a, a songwriter I really uh, admire and enjoy, Heather Lloyd, come up here and sing. And she is the recipient of the Director's Award this year because I, I think not only are her individual songs great, the collective body of work that she has put out is, is impressive to me. And the way that she works at music like it matters, the way that she brings a ferocity, uh, an intensity, uh, let's face it, if this was Salem, she would have been burned at the stake. <laughs> she, is, she is Joan of Snark. She is a, a heroine to so many people. And she's somebody I really enjoy. Rather than go on anymore, I'm just going to have her play us out tonight. Heather Lloyd. <laughs> To say that I was surprised uh, would be an understatement. To say that I'm honored is an understatement. I think the, the best way I can explain uh, how honored I am, I've never been to the Mid-Atlantic Song Contest Gala before. Um, I didn't know what to wear. I have everything in the car from a legit black tie gown to like the t-shirt I wore here, you know. And I waited till I got here and looked around to like be sure I didn't either over or underdo it. Thank you. Um, I figure if it's the last song, it's got to have a certain degree of, of gravitas and sort of a statement on, on all the things. Uh, we lost a lot of really incredible songwriters in the last couple of years. Uh, we are still losing them even, you know, this past week. Um, a lot of them we are losing to the thing that made a lot of us come to this in the first place, you know. Our sad thoughts, our bad breakups, you know, these have brought us to our greatest songs. And they dog us, and they make us feel impossibly terrible at everything, and uplift us to the best that we do. Um, this is to all of my bad decisions that have brought me to great things, and yours. When I am gone, maybe to the end. And when you mourn, are you mad? Sipping your whiskey, singing my songs, cursing my demons, got me after all. Well, spare me your pity, give me my due. 
think more of me than you do of you cause you love my demons but you'd never say be loved and mistreated My so-called angels did me no favors, caused as much trouble as the devil ever did. Love the wrong man, play. So have your conscience for so good a kid. But oh, the forgiveness I've known in the dark, the velvet of city of my. Would I be different? Train in my blood for all of that sunshine that's working for you. Cause my kind of Drives me to the left Where I look over Flames at my back And I do not jump And I'm not consumed But when I'm myself They say I am doomed Maybe it's true Maybe it's true So when I am gone, maybe to you, and when you mourn, all I might have done, sip on your whiskey, go ahead and sing on. But be kind to my demons With me all Heather Lloyd. Well, now we're going to play about an hour and a half worth of uh, folk tune. No, we're not. We are done for the night. Thank you guys so much for coming, for making this great. Go write some songs. Go inspire some songwriters. You know, if you break up with whoever you're with, I, we could probably get some great songs next year. Whatever you got to do. Thank you so much to all of our sponsors, everyone who volunteered, and thank you especially to you, our audience. Good night.